Hello, Bears. My name is uh, Tunde Dada, a pastor in the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Kingdom Builders Family in Luton. Uh, it's a privilege to be with you again uh, to reflect on the Word of God. Uh, today we are considering the topic, Indispensability of Prayer. Indispensability of Prayer. And a Bible passage is taken from the book of Luke, the 22nd chapter. I'm reading from verse 31 to 34. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, indeed Satan has asked for you that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for you that your faith should not fail. And when you have returned to me, strengthen your brethren. But he said to him, Lord, I am ready to go with you, both to prison and to death. Then he said, I tell you, Peter, the rooster shall not crow this day before you will deny three times that you know me. Hmm. Our memory verse is taken from Luke chapter 18, verse 1. Then he spoke a parable to them, that men always ought to pray and not lose heart. Men ought to pray always and not lose heart. A reflection. If there are any three things that, uh, that can sustain a man, not only in the ministry, I would suggest that they are prayer, prayer, and prayer. Even the, Lord, the, the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ, they knew that he was a great teacher. They knew that they never asked him to teach them to, how to teach. They knew he worked miracles, but you know that they never asked the Lord to teach them how miracles are worked out. They knew that the master has a lot of wisdom and authority. But guess what? They never asked him to show them the fountain of wisdom. They knew that something was crucial in the life, in the time, and in his ministry. And that was prayer. Hence, they summoned up courage one day and they went to the Lord and said to him, Look, Master, we know the secret of your powerful and authoritative teaching. We know the secret around the working of miracles. It is prayer. And they beseech the Lord, teach us to pray. Viewers, it is good to go to the theological schools. But you know that it's more profitable to pray. As Pastor Adeboe, the general overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, counseled today in the open heaven. Uh, which is the daily devotional. If you are an oratory speaker, but you do not pray, my viewers, you will end up just as a motivational speaker. Prayer was crucial in rescuing Peter from the trap of the enemy to derail him. As we saw in that text that we read, imagine if Jesus did not pray for him. He would not have recovered from the episode of the, of the denial. Furthermore, his return to the fishing business would have marked a point of no return for him. But Jesus prayed for him. We all need the mantle of prayer to oil our ministries. How often do we do this? A key point for today. Training without prayer negates your faith in Christ. So I encourage you to pray without ceasing. Have a productive day and God bless you.